there, Manny Mates and fellow nail enthusiasts. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am bringing you um, Bombshell Nail Co. Review 2.0. <laughs> um, they have new bottles. Look at these. I have tried their liquids before. A couple of months ago, I did a mani where I tried their liquids and their powders, and I had no complaints. I love them. Um, but she has revamped her bottles, and they're pretty cute. Uh, the only thing that I would change is to add a swiper insert. I've already mentioned that to Leanne, the owner of Bombshell, that that is just a personal preference of mine. If I was to give any criticism at all, it would be to add that, but that's for ease of use. And it is definitely just a personal preference. So she is looking into that. Not sure how soon or if that'll even happen, but just thought I'd mention it. The bottles are slightly smaller than the regular size uh, liquid bottles that you see from other companies, but it's not by a huge amount, maybe a milliliter or something like that. Um, she also sent me one of her new cuticle oil pens, and this is the signature scent, which is called Peony and White Tea. The bombshell colors I am using in this Manny are PSL, which stands for Pumpkin Spice Latte, and Fall Foliage. PSL is a really nice burnt orange. It's perfect for fall and fall foliage is a gorgeous glitter mix and it has an orange and gold and silver and it's just ah uh, it just is the perfect fall glitter i honestly love it um and for my glitter nail my glitter nail my ombre nail um i needed a lighter color and i didn't have one from bombshell so cn designer dips is a stand-in with this stunning color called fawn and it is perfect with these other two colors so let's get into it the first color i'm going to apply is fawn on my ring finger that is going to be the base for my glitter ombre um so i'm not going to say much about this because i'm going to do a separate video about cn designer dips i have tons of their colors and i have yet to do a full mani with their stuff so we're gonna just not talk about that right now because this is not about them <laughs> but i will get to them eventually um so i'm gonna let you watch me apply that powder uh to my ring finger i'm gonna do two dips of fawn and then i will come back and we will chat about these powders and these liquids i have a lot to say Right, let's chat shall we let me start by saying that bombshell is slowly becoming actually I should say quickly becoming one of my favorite companies um, for a few reasons um, the first reason is the products are great I enjoy using the powders when you see me apply PSL to my pinky I mean it's practically one dip coverage 
it pretty much is one dip coverage. Um, you know me, I, I like to do two dips for strength purposes and that's just my habit. But um, I could probably get away with just one dip of pumpkin spice latte. It just went on, there was just full coverage. No issues with the liquids. Like I said, um, the liquids are a bit on the thin side. Um, but that's not a bad thing. Uh, you just have to remember because there's no swiper in the bottle to wipe off a good amount of liquid on the brush. These brushes hold a lot of liquid. They are not the white clear bristles that a lot of companies use. Um, and they do absorb and hold more liquid in them. So you have to wipe quite a bit more, but that's, that's okay because the liquids themselves self-level and they have a medium dry time, which is really great. You'll see when I do my ombre nail, worked perfectly. I had no issues whatsoever with doing my ombre nail. The glitter stuck where I wanted it to. It didn't dry too quickly. It wasn't too slow drying. I was able to press down the glitters easily. Great, I have no complaints about the liquids at all. Um, but pumpkin spice latte is, or I, I'm just gonna call it PSL it's easier but it's it's a beautiful color um I, I mean it's it's kind of one of those colors like you either love it or you hate it and uh for this time of year I really do love it um I like the way it looks with my skin tone it might not work for everyone but I enjoy it um and it goes really really well with fall foliage this glitter it's like the perfect they just go together so well it makes for a really nice fall manny so um but yeah as you can see like uh, full coverage with the liquids no like drying too quickly and i have this on over peel base and as a lot of you know who use peel base sometimes base liquids dry quickly when you put the first layer over your peel base and sometimes i have to with certain brands i have to put a layer of base let that dry completely and then go in with my dip base for my first dip. Oh boy, that was a lot of words and I'm not sure if I was making sense, but I sure hope you get what I'm trying to say. This did not happen with these liquids. I had on peel base and I just put on my first layer and dipped right away and I got full coverage. Some of that has to do with the liquids. Some of that has to do with the powder. Whatever it is, it's magic together. Okay, now you've heard my thoughts and opinions on these products. I'm going to stop yapping at you for a bit and let you watch me dip out the second layer of PSL. And I'll be back for the glitter. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret. As much as I love the way glitter looks once it's on my nail, I don't really enjoy applying it. Is that weird? I mean, okay, there are some glitters that are super easy to work with, um, mostly just the fine glitters, and I don't mind applying fine glitter to my nail, but anything bigger than a fine glitter, like a medium or a chunky, Ugh. I'm going to be honest. And it's not a brand thing. It's literally just a glitter thing. 
But I don't know. I just, ugh, just, it's work. And uh, yeah, so that's all I have to say about that. As far as this glitter goes, it's beautiful and it's worth the work in my opinion. So uh, I did pour it into a cupcake liner and I did this simply for coverage purposes. You know, for me, it is just easier to apply um, glitters that are not fine glitters by laying my finger into them. So I laid my finger in, I cleaned up the cuticle lines, I pressed down with my finger and I am using my little finger protector thingy. I get these at the Dollar Tree, three in a pack for a dollar and you can't beat that. <laughs> I've been using them for, oops, <laughs> over a year now. <laughs> that one decided it wanted to take a dive into my glitter. <laughs> anyway, yeah. For a year or more, I've been using them. They were a great find and I keep myself stocked in them. So I am going to do a second dip in this lovely glitter. I'm going to press it down like I did for the first layer. And when I come back, we will get into this glitter ombre. ombre time <laughs> I'm going to apply a layer of my base liquid and I'm going to cover the entire nail sometimes I cover the entire nail with my liquid and sometimes I only do about two-thirds of the nail that way I don't accidentally get glitter on the tip of my nail I did not do it that way this time um, I'm not sure why I just kind of kept going anyway uh, so that just means I have to be extra careful to not get glitter on the tip of my nail um, but that's always fixable now I take my eyeshadow brush this is sort of a flat fluffy brush which I like for picking up glitters and I start tapping the glitter onto my nail starting at the cuticle line and then I move slowly towards the tip of the nail so that the higher um, concentration of glitter is at my cuticle line and it thins out and becomes less dense towards the tip of my nail if that makes sense if you were doing ombre at the tip you would do it the opposite way you would concentrate the majority of your glitter at the tip of the nail and then slowly tap away etc um, I also tipped my finger down slightly uh, so that the glitter would fall nicely. And as you can see, the glitter stuck really well. That base did not dry too quickly and I did not have a whole lot of issues there. Um, I do um, a couple of spots. I wanted a little bit more of the medium glitter on there. A lot of the fine glitter stuck, but I didn't get as many of the medium glitters as I'd wanted, but that was easy to fix with a glitter placement. So I just apply a little bit more of the base liquid. And then with my toothpick or my orange stick, actually that's an orange stick today. Um, but with my orange stick, I um, just dip in the liquid that's on my nail and I pick up the stray pieces, some of the stray pieces of glitter and place them where I want them. And that's really all there is to it clean up my cuticle lines as usual and then we're going to encapsulate everything in clear i'm gonna let you watch me be a little bit crazy and ocd about my glitter placement and then i'll be back for encapsulation
so I'm back as promised, but I don't really have a whole lot to say um, about clear encapsulating other than the things I usually say, which is I clear encapsulate every Manny and I do this to protect my color and my glitters when I am filing and shaping. That's it and that's all. Okay, I lied. Um, the other thing that I do when I clear encapsulate, and you may notice that I do this, and maybe I have never explained why I do this. I'm not really even sure why I do this. I just feel like I get the best results when I press my clear into my colors and my glitters. Now, I'm not saying that there is any proof that this makes a difference other than my own personal experience. When I press my clear dip powder into my colors and my glitters, I feel like I get a smoother and clearer application. Period. End of conversation about that. However, I will also say, after I do that and my base is mostly dry, I scrub the living daylights out of my nails to get as much of that clear powder off before I activate as possible. And I never have cloudiness. I never have anything look gritty or like splotchy. There's never any white spots on any of my manis. Now, that could also have to do with the amazing clear powder that I use, which is always Everly Nails Clear. It's my absolute favorite. I use it for every single Manny. But I think it's a mixture, a combination of all those things. Okay? So I press my clear powder down. And once my base is mostly dry, I brush off all the excess powder. And then I activate. And it just... You'll see the pictures. It they're it's clear over this you can tell best over glitters i think and solids shimmers it's a little bit harder to tell but solids and glitters it really does um it does become obvious if you don't have a good clear dip application over your colors and glitters i am saying colors and glitters quite a lot okay i'm going to stop talking now i'm going to finish encapsulating <laughs> and i will be back for activation, no, I'm not. I'm not coming back for activation. I am going to finish clear encapsulating. I'm gonna file and buff and shape off camera, and I will come back when it's time for top coat. Here I am. <laughs> I told you I wasn't coming back. <laughs> uh, so yeah, now it's time for top coat and I am going to tell you. <sighs> I know that I have been really like pumping up the Cascade Color Works top coat and I have been uh, like obsessed with it lately. But I'm going to tell you, Bombshell's got a really nice top coat. This top coat applied really nicely. It was shiny as all get out. And I'm telling you right now, I still have this mani on. It's been about three days, I want to say, four days. It's just as shiny as when I applied it. There's no dulling whatsoever. It's, I mean, and it's so smooth. 
It's also, it doesn't feel very thick, but it's strong at the same time. So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give this bombshell top coat a spot on my top, mm, my top five, okay? My top five glossy top coats for dip liquids, bombshells on there, okay? It is great. It is a really great top coat. I'm also going to mention uh, that I am someone who can be susceptible to dip flu. It depends on the liquids. There are some liquids that make me sicker than others. Um, like triple vitamin kills me. I can't use it. Can't use it. I used it for a while. Made me sick as a dog. Can't use it. But I have some like of my go-to liquids that I just know won't ever really make me that sick. Maybe a sniffle here or there, but I'm sensitive. Um, these did not bother me. I'm not going to say that there's no odor because that's not true, but they are not overpowering or overwhelming in my opinion. And um, I did not get sick after using them. So there's that. <laughs> um so yeah, I, I'm happy with this Manny. I am happy with the products uh, as I was from the first review, uh, if you remember that. If you have not watched that video, I will link it up in the cards for you guys. Um, if I haven't already, it'll be there. Um, and I hope that you will give Bombshell a try because I really do love this company. And Leanne, the owner, is a sweetheart. Her customer service is fantastic. Um, anytime I have an issue or a question, she is always like really responsive and that's a quality I really appreciate in a small business owner. Here's the final results. Beautiful and shiny as I said it would be. And I am so in love with how this turned out. I'm going to apply the cuticle oil that Leanne sent me. This is the peony and white tea signature scent. Um, I, listen, if you guys have been around for a while, you know that I am someone who has dabbled in making my own cuticle oil. I have actually made my own cuticle oil for probably about five years now. Before I knew anything about all these fabulous cuticle oil companies, um, I was making my own cuticle oil. And um, one thing that I have to say is I know a good cuticle oil when I use one. <laughs> and this is a nice oil. And it smells really good. I'm going to have to order some more of it because I'm really, really enjoying it. And I, <laughs> um, I am going to admit that this pen is almost gone already. <laughs> I've been using it so much. Out of curiosity, I did ask Leanne what ingredients she uses in her cuticle oil, and I'm happy to say she uses a lot of the same ingredients that I would use in my own cuticle oil. So I'm a happy camper, and I love this scent. Um, so yeah, I have no complaints. In fact, I'm thrilled. Before I run out of time, I want to remind you all that I will be having my 1K giveaway coming up very soon i'll be uploading a video to reveal the prizes you could win to explain the rules of the giveaway and i just also want to give you all a reminder that you will need to be subscribed to my channel to participate in this giveaway so if you have not hit that subscribe button i hope you will because i would love for you all to be able to participate in this giveaway i just want to say that i appreciate all of you i am still shook that I've hit 1k I've been waiting for a while I didn't think I was ever gonna hit it and then I hit it and more so you guys are awesome I really appreciate all the support I hope that you love this Manny I hope that you love this video and I hope that you will continue to come back if you like this kind of content leave me comments and questions down below I love interacting with all of you and I hope to see you all in the next one bye bye now